Welcome back, or welcome if you are new. Today I am doing the story dressed as Deadpool instead of dressed as Jack the Skellington. And my hair is down, so I'm just going to stay with my hat and be dressed like Deadpool. We are reading a story from Creepypasta called He is Coming for You. I cannot pronounce the author's name, but here you can see it if you like. I'll leave it in the title and in the description because I don't want to pronounce it horribly wrong and mess it up. <laughs> Warning. By reading this, you are welcoming him into your life. If you want to live in peace, I suggest you to stop and close this article. However, who am I to tell you what to do? I mean, maybe you're a thrill seeker or just some sick masochist or maybe just into the occult supernatural stuff and crap like that. Don't tell me... I never warned you, though. Who am I kidding? He probably knows about you already. How, you wonder? Well, it's simple, isn't it? You know about him simply by reading the article. By reading the title. Let alone the article. You have made yourself a target, but don't worry. It's not like he's going to just jump out of nowhere scaring you to death while you're busy brushing your teeth one evening. He's more complex than that. He's more into scaring his victims with more of a psychological approach, really. But don't you worry too much. There's probably a million people out there that already read or heard about him already. Why would he choose to get you out of all those other people that were foolish enough to make themselves a target? Because you aren't thinking about him right now, are you? I may have forgotten to tell you that while you've been reading up on facts about him, thinking about him, making him more likely to appear, you see. He doesn't like it when people think too much about him. The rotten stench of decay emitting from him would be the first sign of his presence. That's how he'll make himself known. He wants you to know he's coming for you, and he knows that you know. This is how he is toying with you. It starts with you noticing swift, swift glimpses of a humanoid-like being barely visible in your peripheral vision and the smell of rot and decay barely there, but just enough to trigger some small discomfort and irritation for your sense of smell. But as time passes on, could be days, could be months, could be an hour. You'll slowly notice the smell intensifies and the figure you thought was a product of your imagination is starting to creep up on you ever so close. I mean, at first you only thought you may or may not have seen maybe a quick shadow a couple hundred feet away every now and then or simply an unlikely fast bypasser coming out coming out from nowhere in the horizon, disappearing out of view again. But to trust me when I say that the silhouette standing behind your shower curtain or that strange shadowy figure sitting three booths away at the local McDonald's is not your childhood imagination friend. He knows that you know about him. He knows that you can see him, that you try to avoid him, and that his presence is known. He will stop at nothing before you either submit to his terror or die of fear. Because that's how he works. He will never harm you. Not until you yield. But when you do, you get to see his distorted face looking down on you right before you die at the, last, at the time you'll least expect it. Why have I told you this? Well, maybe because I'm an asshole and loves to put other people in danger. Or maybe, just maybe, you should look around and see if you see me, if you can see me. Because I can see you. That was a very short story, but that is actually the end of it. I wonder if maybe they'll do like a part two or if this is just it. But apparently the person telling the story... Is actually him. We will be back with another story. I usually make multiple in one day, so you'll probably see me dressed as Deadpool in quite a few. <laughs>